The Manchester City team made the decision to like Ibiza while flying over Vienna. Morale was high. The players who boarded the club's private jet were still in full swing rather than groggy from the night's festivities in Istanbul. The party at a JW Marriott with a view of the Marmara Sea was supposed to end at around 9 a.m. the next morning, but Pep Guardiola's players added an extra 48 hours on top. Some of the more seasoned players questioned whether City wouldn't mind lending them the Etihad Boeing 787 for a little while as they were flying home with the Champions League trophy fastened to a seat. Nothing significant, simply a quick flight to the Balearics with a huge club crest on the side of the plane. Naturally, that request was graciously turned down. As an alternative, they swiftly organized another jet while returning to Manchester. Before they gathered at the VIP terminal, players had little over an hour to dash back to their apartments. We all had a good time. All of that is now gone. Guardiola was unambiguous about it as City started their Red Star Belgrade defense in a group they should have control of. The fact that they won the championship last year is essentially meaningless in the context of European football, let alone the treble. Guardiola added, For us to win it was incredible for the club. But how many teams have actually won the Champions League once? A lot? Ten? We took no unusual actions. I would be at home or on a beach if all I wanted were the memories instead of being here. A few days after the trip to Ibiza and a soggy victory parade, that was the main topic of discussion in Abu Dhabi. The heavy hitters were present. Sheikh Mansour was joined at the table by Guardiola, Chairman Khaldun Al-Mubarak, Sporting Director Chiki Bagiristain, and CEO Ferran Soriano. The possibility of replicating the historically high degree of domestic success on the continent was made very evident. The late 1980s AC Milan of Arrigo Sacchi was noted, Real Madrid under Zinedine Zidane, Bayern Munich under Detmar Kramer in the 1970s. It hasn't been defended by many people. Of course, the Barcelona team, led by Guardiola, who won two of them in three years, is also used as an example. Guardiola remarked, People say we won it, and it's over. It's not finished, just just once. In 1990, Red Star was the only team to ever win it. City were conscious that some heroes, including Captain Ilkay Gundogan, might view reaching the Holy Grail as the ideal time to bid farewell. Al Mubarak, who was heavily involved in team preparation, talked about what would be needed to signify a move forward rather than a standstill in the transfer market. They spent $207 million on fresh arrivals, despite being aware for months that Jude Bellingham was leaving. Two of them, Josco Gvardiol and Jeremy Doku, were just starting out in their careers and were replacing Riyad Mahrez, 32, and Aymeric Laporte, 29. Others, like new member of the five-man leadership team Bernardo Silva, take on greater responsibility as experience fades, serious promise arrives. This squad growth cycle, which once seemed to never end, is finally gradually finished. This summer, City earned more than £160 million through player sales and additional clauses while maintaining its internal net spending goals. Guardiola found it amusing when Soriano said he is relaxed now that City have old big ears. But in the boardroom, it is always about the next task and the players have noticed this. At the beginning of the season, Guardiola pointed out that his team was now at the base of the mountain rather than the top by displaying a picture of a mountain. Because of our Premier League and Champions League victories, our flag will always be at the top. But as Captain Kyle Walker noted, to go again is what separates the good teams from the great teams. The manager still wants to win more and there is definitely still hunger in the locker room. In games and practice, you can observe his personality. He refuses to accept second best. City has continually gone through the years, 
but this moment calls for even greater concentration. When they were down by a goal at the half of Saturday's victory at West Ham United, Guardiola had to calm them down in the locker room. I inquired as to their source of rage, Guardiola stated. Despite losing, we were doing great. Although we push them, they initiate it. The player's mentality is incredible for us. It doesn't work like that, even though managers can deliver stunning speeches that are uploaded to TikTok. To improve, each person needs to discover who they are. I'm a little astonished that the treble, which proves the team's superiority, came after all these years.